there. It's Johanna from A Creative Thread. And today I would like to show you some different methods on how to join strips of fabric for projects other than your basic patchwork and sewing. So there are a lot of things that we can do with strips of fabric, especially if you have leftovers. It's a great way to use up scraps and bits of fabric that we have left over from projects and you can cut strips in any size that you want and use them for a plethora of things. So I actually keep strips of fabric around in a basket and use them instead of ribbon to wrap gifts. It is an inexpensive way to use what I already have and instead of going out and buying ribbon, I use fabric and of course, me being me, people expect to see fabric on their gifts and everything else. So I am going to show you uh, first what I do with the fabric and then I'm gonna show you how to join the strips. So we all know that there are two and a half inch strips uh, already pre-cut, widely available, and there's lots of quilt patterns out there and project patterns, bags, table runners, using the two and a half inch strips and they usually come two and a half inch by the width of fabric. If you wanted to join them together to make, say, a jelly roll rug or um, a crocheted piece using, you know, the thicker strips, you could use the methods that I'm going to show you, even a two and a half inch strip, uh, two and a half inches. Um, this is a ball of fabric yarn. I'm gonna call it fabric yarn. And the strips are cut pretty thin. So I'm gonna say they're about, about a half an inch wide. And yep, about a half an inch wide. And I tore these because I like the raw edge. And it's easier once you get going, especially if you're working on straight of grain, to tear them in even size strips. So I'm gonna show you how I do that as well. So at a half an inch, I've connected all of these pieces and I've wound them in a ball and I could knit with this, I could crochet with this. Um, this is actually a little I-cord bracelet that I made on a little I-cord knitting machine and I weave with them. So here is, I'm gonna show you, it's kind of hard because it's a really big piece, but I have a section. This is strips of fabric that's about, I'm gonna say this is about an inch or three quarters of an inch that I connected and then I used on my Sayori loom. Um, so it made a nice fabric of um, when I'm doing the traditional weaving. And then I did some where I pulled up some loops as I was weaving. And I just think this is a really interesting texture on weaving. So you can use that as just as you would yarn. Um, so I'm going to show you how I take basic fabric and I make these strips and then how I join them. So this is actually, this was a batik fat quarter and I've already started ripping. So my first I made, I found where the grain was and I made a small snip and I like to use a good sharp scissors. So um, these are these are my favorites. These are Karen K. Buckley. They cut all the way to the edge. And I made a small snip. You can see that's just about a half an inch. My first tear was go was off was not um, even because that was looking for the grain. So my first tear was that means whoever cut the fat quarter, you know, it wasn't perfect. And sometimes even when they cut the big pieces and they roll them on the bolts for the stores, they're not always perfect. They're not always, um, they're not always rolled evenly. So sometimes you have to find that grain. So this was the first strip, but then this was the second one. And you can see when I ripped it, that's, that's nice and even. And this was the third one. And this is also, nice and even. So um, what I'm going to show you is 
I'm going to take, so you can see this is where I was ripping, and I'm going to make a little snip right at about a half an inch. Continue making evenly spaced snips with your scissors. And then I'm gonna hang on to either end and just pull. This is so satisfying. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Just tearing fabric. And you can see when I smooth it out, you know, just how nice and even that is. Yes, you're gonna have, if you tear, you're gonna have some errant little strings and you can just kind of clean those up um, as you go along. And that's, that's just what it is. Now you can cut by all means, if you want straight, even, you know, if you don't want frayed edges, you can take a ruler, you can take a rotary cutter and a rotary mat, and you can cut half inch strips. You can cut three quarter inch, whatever the width is. You can cut it rotary cutter. Um, if you're really good, you can cut by scissor. And if you have a die cutting machine, you can, they make dies for um, the different strips and the different widths as well. So those are all different options, but um, for today, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to just kind of tear these. And then I'm going to show you how I join them. Lay out and gather your fabric strips that you just cut. Take one end and fold it over about an inch or so and then make a small snip. You're going to do the same thing on your next strip, folding over and making a small snip. Now you will take the two ends where you just made the little snip and put them one on top of the other where the snip hole is lined up Take the end of the top strip, bring it around and through both ends and give it a little tug. And you have successfully joined your strips. I'll show you again. Fold it over, make a small snip. Next strip, slightly fold it over and make another snip. Line the two ends where the opening that you just cut is lined up. You'll take your top strip, bring the other end around to the bottom and through both cuts that you made. Pull it all the way through and give it a little tug another successful join. You'll keep doing that. Now, if you wanna make it a little quicker, you can do two at one time. So put two ends together, fold them over together, and make the snip. Then separate them, turn them opposite ways, but still lining up the cut that you made, and then take the top strip, bring the end around and under and through where you just cut in a little tug. I'll show you again, taking the two ends, fold it over, make a snip. You're using the end of the one that you just joined plus the next strip. Line the two slits that you cut up top strip up and over and through. This will speed up a little bit once you get in the groove. You can use your fingers to poke through. And give it a little tug. Successful joined continuous fabric strips. Isn't that easy and it looks so neat. Thank you for watching this video on how to join continuous 
fabric strips. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave any questions and comments below, and most importantly, make time to make something.